Hello everybody, I'm Kat Farrance, I'm founder of Movement for Modern Life and this evening I am in my office and I'm just working away of an evening as I do and I just wanted to have a little word with you about something which I get asked a lot about. So I work from home and I started my own business and a lot of people say, how do you have the discipline to do that? If I was at home, I would be doing X, Y, Z, finding tasks to do, things to occupy yourself. You wouldn't be working, right? Um, well, I think that my yoga practice has stood me in very, very good stead for cultivating discipline. So in my view, discipline is a little bit like a muscle. And a lot of people also say to me, oh, I'd love to do yoga at home, but I just don't have the discipline. And I think, well, these things are all related. It's a muscle and we can all, you know, all muscles atrophy if we don't use them. And they can all improve and get a little bit stronger if we do use them. And the secret to getting a little bit of discipline is you just have to make a habit out of something and you have to realise what the consequences are. Because in a way, in this world, we're all a little bit cosseted. We buy our food from the shop and it's all very easy. We don't have to wait for anything. We don't have to... Yeah, everything is very much on demand and we expect life to be on demand. And... Um, in that way, I think that we're somehow losing our sense of discipline. And this is why yoga is actually very, very good. And this is why doing yoga at home um, is a discipline really like no other. Um, and the secret to that discipline is simply getting on and doing it. I'm afraid to say there's only two things in life. Um, so says my motto. Um, the first thing is decide what you want to do. And the second thing is do it. And of course, the second thing, doing it, is where the discipline kicks in. So once you have decided that you want to practice yoga at home every day, you then need to think, well, why do I want to do it? Is it because I want to feel that sense of vitality? Is it I want to feel more healthy? If Is, I, is it because you want to feel energised? Or you want to have your stress reduced? Um, maybe you want to sleep better. These are all really good reasons for practicing yoga. I practice yoga because it just makes me feel alive. It makes me feel like I'm, um, I'm a conscious human being. I'm not just a human doing. It reminds me of my big place in the world. It's, it's an important um, connector to me. So that's the reason why I practice. And that's not to say that practicing at home is easy because it's not there are of course a million other things to do and I have a business to run and I have so many things and emails and task lists and schedules and things that everybody all of us have these things but it's just knowing that in the grand scheme in the grand picture we don't want to forsake those things that we get the energy from we don't want to forsake um, that sense of vitality, the vibrancy. And if it takes rolling out your mat, well, it's a, it, it's not a big deal. It's not a big thing to do. And for me, it's like, um, it's like brushing the teeth, say. Um, you know, I don't want to have um, all my teeth falling out, so I brush my teeth every day. Is it really great fun? Mm, not really, but it's just what I do because it's a habit that I've fallen in and so it becomes a discipline. And I'm afraid it really does have to be that way with yoga and with your yoga practice. And it's very often that I'm not going to feel like practicing and that I'm feeling lazy or sluggish or I have a headache and there's, I'm too busy. But it's just that discipline that makes me get on the mat. And that discipline has stood me personally in amazing stead for running my business and for working from home and for doing things that other people say are hard. Yeah, sure, they're hard, but I really like my life and I really like how I feel after yoga and this is the reason why I do it. So um, this is the first part of our four-part series in 
giving you inspiring ways to get back on the mat and um, inspiring you to actually do your practice and motivate you. And the others are going to be, don't worry, I'm going to get you some motivational tips and techniques and little hacks that will make your life easier. Um, will give you that sense of va va voom to get on the mat. But I just wanted to start off with a little bit of um, a reality check, which is that, you know what, in life, we don't really have very much discipline. And I think it would be a jolly good idea if we all um, had a little bit more. And there is no place for starting your discipline program, for trusting yourself, for knowing that you can commit to something and you can follow through on that, than your yoga mat. The yoga mat is a fabulous place to start. So um, I hope that this has inspired you or at least just given you that little bit of um, a reminder. Well, OK, it doesn't always feel amazing, but it will do afterwards. And discipline is about just doing something because you know that in the long run, it's a good thing to do. It is what you want to do. And you are a trustworthy person to yourself. So you have that discipline. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. And um, let me know your thoughts on our blog. Um, take care. Have a good evening.